first sight to see. Big Arty in the Maroon of Queensland and Captain. When Arthur Beetson led Queensland onto Lang Park on the night of July 8, 1980, nobody knew that the scheduled one-off interstate game would revolutionise rugby league. It was always going to be a tough game. I know there was a lot of doubting Thomases. Uh, Rex Moss said it would never work. Bobby Fulton said it would never work. Ray Warren said it would never work. Interstate games had been played since league's inception in 1908. And in the 72 years previous, New South Wales had triumphed by the ratio of three to one. The money and strength of the Sydney competition had lured all the best Queensland players to New South Wales. And to the chagrin of every Queenslander, their homegrown stars returned each year in a Blues jersey, usually to hand out a thrashing. For so many years, we thought that we were a chance of beating New South Wales every year. That first game of, uh, of every series, we used to think uh, via the media that we were a chance of beating them. Um, we used to be told that uh, we were uh, taking a game into that series that were uh, some sort of hope. Um, but you used to see Queensland uh, with 10 or 15 minutes to go leading the Blues. Um, but at full time, we're always probably 20, 25 points behind and you'd watch the crowd file out of the gates and uh, I mean it used to be like a funeral. The brainchild of QRL President and Labor Senator Ron McAuliffe and supported by New South Wales Rugby League and ARL Chief Kevin Humphreys, the concept was greeted with scepticism from those who thought the teammates would go soft opposing each other. Those thoughts were quickly banished after the opening exchanges. You know, Arthur was playing against a lot of his Parramatta um, teammates um, and all of a sudden he was turning around and giving him a, a smack in the chops. What had happened, Graham went and uh, hit our little halfback. Uh, Ollie, and of course, I stepped in to protect him and, of course, it ignited a little bit. Now they're at it. The ladies are definitely restless. Beetson's involved. It was the famous fight that established the folklore of state against state, mate against mate. Tamed by the standards of the day, it galvanised the 33,000 strong crowd who urged Queensland on to an upset 20 to 10 victory. New South Wales grumbled that they had been ambushed, but they had their chances. So I was picked on, picked on Sunday night, played Tuesday night, back to Sydney on Wednesday, back to work and back to worrying about what's going to happen next week for your club side. He might say, ah, oh, we weren't prepared and all that, and that's a lot of bull, you know. They, 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 they were coming out. They, they came to play football. They came to win. And there's the Meninga. Nicely to Close. Close accelerates and does beautifully right through the gap. Chris Close was a worthy man of the match, and Mal Meninga kicked seven from seven. We always seem to be underdogs all the time. I think that brings the best out in Queenslanders. And, um, you know, when you're underdogs and you've got that tag on you all the time, you always want to prove people wrong. And, um, you know, and all the whole state gets behind you. As had been the case in the previous year, in 1981, the concept was trialled again as the third game of the regular series. In what could be called the birth of the Queensland never say die spirit, the Maroons mounted a comeback from 15 0 down to win by 22 points to 15. The following year, the popularity of the games persuaded the authorities to embrace the concept and all of the interstate series was played as state of origin. When we started shooting our mouths off when it was 1982, we thought we're going to get all of our players back uh, full time, uh, we're going to have uh, the, the Queensland players on uh, uh, on our team, you know, for, for three games. We've, we've won the, the 80 series, the, the 81 series, what's it going to be like to have these, uh, these players back um, for every game? And then of course 1982 started and, and we were beaten in the first game, <laughs> we thought we are in a bit of strife here, you know, we've, uh, we've shot our mouths off a little bit too early, we we're in, uh, in a little bit of pressure, under a bit of pressure and uh, in, in some danger, but uh, thankfully uh, we knew that we we had to provide uh, uh, a little bit of spirit on the field and we had to show exactly what sort of uh, character we had as a football team. New South Wales won the first game 20 to 16, but Queensland came back to win the next two. Game three is particularly infamous to New South Wales fans as Queensland secured victory on the Those back of an in-goal bungle by Phil Duke and Phil Sigsworth. Sigsworth feels it in the in-goal. 
Oh, he's taking the other way and uh, stopping his sex on the game. Loses the ball at the five. Arthur Beaton returned to the Origin stage as coach of the Maroons in 1983. Lewis with Wally Lewis beginning to stamp his authority on Origin football, Queensland took the series two games to one to hand Artie his first series win as a coach. In 1984, New South Wales got serious about Origin and for the first time rested the selected team in the week prior to the games. And it goes to Boast and he's got a clear passage. Has he got the pace? Oh, he steps inside, Jack, and scores! However, Queensland won the first game comfortably 29 to 12 on the back of Kerry Boasted's three tries. In the second game, 29,000 fans braved miserable conditions at the SCG, and as fireworks marking the start of the game thundered overhead, fireworks erupted on the field. Team Miles is looking to uh, kick with the New South Wales defence warming in. That's already on. Punches being thrown from everybody. It's just in there. Red Pitt is involved as well on the ground as Pitt first. Ray Price, all training blows well. Jack Gibson, what an explosive start to this match. After the passion subsided, a tight game of football ensued. In the atrocious conditions, scoring chances were few, and all opportunities had to be taken. Last tackle for Queensland. Lewis, Lewis, a little chip. Well, it bounces off the upright, and they're in! Dowling has gone in, and it's up a Lewis kick, and that's got to be luck! It was a move we practice all week where Wally would chip and he'd hit the goalpost, and Greg Dowling would come through and catch it. And, uh, <laughs> And, I, and there was something like you know, 29,000 people there, and I thought, gee, Origin had arrived, you know. Uh, the, I still thought there was a few Downing Thomases down here in New South Wales, but the New South Wales people had finally embraced it. The Maroons won by 14 points to two, wrapping up the series. The Queensland Origin wins had breathed new life into the interstate series, and the standard of football and closeness of the games saw Origin encroaching on Test football as the pinnacle of the game. 